How's it going guys? It's the Pixelate Pumpkin and in today's video we'll be taking a look at the majority of the Home Depot Halloween 2024 animatronic lineup. It's that time of year again where Home Depot and Lowe's obviously, which we already covered on the channel, have their big manager meeting and for some reason they find it a good idea to set up all their animatronics at this event and they all end up getting leaked. But they also semi-officially released them because we do have some stock photos already of them along with some little descriptions which is cool enough in my opinion. We'll be taking a look at all of that today. So be sure to like and subscribe and let's jump into our first brand new Home Depot Halloween 2024 animatronic. <laughs> Here we have the servo motor Frankenstein's monster animatronic. And I mean, this thing is ripped straight from that classic movie. And it honestly just looks so, so awesome. I really, really love this one, especially with those servo motors, with those super, super lifelike movements in the head and eyes. It is just so cool to see them using these servos once again. And especially with the blinking too, how more realistic can it get? I really, really enjoy that they did the right thing and brought back this animation to put on more animatronics this year. Because definitely Lethal Lily and the robot from last year at Home Depot were the two standout props, I must say. So it's really cool to see them running it back this year with this great technology technology that they're implementing into even more and more props and what other character better to put it on than a classic movie monster being frankenstein's monster of course super super awesome and super accurate to the movie as well i really really like this one my only complaint is that the clothing is a little bit bland here and the face just looks a little bit too plasticky for my liking but other than that this is just such an awesome animatronic and definitely one of the fan favorites for the year so so cool Next up, we got the seven and a half foot tall Plague Doctor animatronic. And this is the first Plague Doctor prop we got that actually features animation, and it's about damn time. Anyways, this is such a cool looking Plague Doctor animatronic. They definitely did a really good job with this one, but it's not perfect in my opinion. For one, I'm not a big fan of the EL wires they put on the mask and the shoulders of the cloak. While I do like the extra lighting details, it kind of takes away from the realisticness of this one, which I feel like it really needs, and adds more of like a brighter, cartoony vibe to it a little bit, which I don't think helps the prop in any way. Also, I'm not a big fan of the animation. He kind of just robotically rocks the stick he's holding or the staff he's holding back and forth, and he turns his head from side to side, which is fine, which I like, obviously, but that robotic staff movement really isn't necessary, and I just don't really understand why he has that movement there. I would have appreciated maybe if he was moving the hand with the lantern in it, but anyways, I still think this is a really, really spectacular prop. I mean, a Plague Doctor, it's about time we saw one that's actually animated, and this one looks really, really cool. Up next, we have Captain Cuts, and much like Plague Doctors, we hardly ever see pirate props. I mean, the last time we had a pirate prop was probably over a decade ago, and that's really saying something. But here we go with Captain Cuts, and I mean, this is just a fantastic looking pirate prop overall. I don't think it's that much on the scary side of things, like if they wanted to go scary with it, I think they'd give him more of like a skeletal rotting type look. But this is just a really cool looking pirate character, which I think you could use outside of Halloween, stuff like that. I don't know, just like put him in like a seafood restaurant or something. I think he'll fit in there perfectly. But this is a really cool animatronic overall. It says he features five movements, so I'm assuming he's going to be another servo prop. I think if they give him the blinking and stuff like that, that would just make this such a cool character. And definitely a very memorable prop for years to come. But it's really cool to see a pirate prop. And it's really cool to see that we're getting more like sea themes themed props just overall a wider spectrum of themed props in general they're definitely starting to stray away from clowns this year for the long run it seems so i'm looking forward to that and it's really cool we finally have another pirate prop after almost a decade our next prop is called the knight dullahan and if you're wondering about that name because i was confused by it at first I searched it up and apparently dullahan is a word commonly associated with headless riders and I didn't really think there were headless horse riders besides the headless horseman himself, but apparently there is a pretty big genre of this, I guess, in fiction and like Dungeons and Dragons apparently. But anyways, here we have this prop here, and we have seen quite a few horse riding props from Home Depot in recent years. I really, really like that headless horseman one they have, like the one with the pumpkin, the more classically designed one to the Sleepy Hollow book. But I think this is a cool one as well, 
This one stands really tall. It's, I think it's around nine feet, which makes it very imposing for sure. I mean, this thing is just a behemoth of a prop right here. I don't think it features any animation. It definitely looks like a static prop to me. Those legs definitely won't move in the front, like on the Headless Horseman prop. And for the skeleton riding it, it just appears to be one of those ultra posable skeletons they released last year. So you're gonna have a lot of different display options with this guy, but I don't think he has any phrases or animation, which is okay in my opinion, because there's plenty of lighting on this one that more than makes up for it. I think just the imposing nature of the prop with how giant it is definitely makes it all around great, even if it is just a static prop. Overall, I really like this one. It's definitely not my favorite because we've seen stuff like this plenty in the past before, but it certainly is pretty cool. Well, they couldn't go a year without releasing another 12 foot prop. So here we are with this 12 foot Reaper. And this is probably the best 12 foot prop Home Depot has ever released and probably the best 12 foot prop that's ever been released in general. I mean, this thing is just so badass looking. It is gigantic and that scythe is gigantic. I mean, there's so much to love about this prop. And it seems like it's finally like a really scary looking 12 foot prop. I think one of the main issues I've had with the 12 foot props is that none of them were scary looking enough. All of them felt very plasticky and obviously you could tell it's just super fake looking. I mean, don't get me wrong, I always thought a majority of them were pretty cool. I mean, I, they were a great centerpiece for your Halloween yard display. But this one is actually the first one that looks honestly really scary. And I really, really like that about it. The other cool thing about this one is it has that same floating effect the 12 foot witch had, which I think is done even better here, arguably. And I just love how he's holding on to this gigantic scythe. I mean, that thing is enormous. And the Reaper himself, of course, has this super cool, like, rocky, almost molten-looking texture to him, which I think is just really, really cool-looking. I'm really excited to see if he features any animation. I'm sure he's going to have lighting. It looks like his rib cage and his eyes might light up, but I wonder if he's going to have mouth movement or something. It kind of looks like he might, and that'd be so, so cool. I mean, if they're able to put animation on the 13-foot Jack Skellington, I don't see why this guy should be any different. This is easily my favorite 12 foot prop they've ever released from any company, from any distributor. And I'm really, really looking forward to seeing this one, hopefully in person, because this is one of those props you just kind of have to see to believe. Next up, we have the 10 foot tall murderous maple. And surprisingly, this is actually one of my favorite props they've released this year. I know it's just a static prop, and honestly, it's nothing that special, but there's just something about it that just really screams classic Halloween to me. And I really just like how this one looks a lot, especially with that face that changes color. It just looks very, very classic Halloween. And just the overall design of it, I know it's a tree, but, but I feel like prop companies always have a difficult time executing on tree props. But this one is done pretty much flawlessly here. And it definitely doesn't even need animation just to sit there and be spooky, which I really, really like. Just overall how it looks, again, just very classic Halloween to me. And I feel like this is definitely going to be a big sleeper hit from Home Depot this year. I wouldn't be surprised if you see a lot of these in people's yards this year. It definitely feels like it's going to be one of those props that you kind of look over on first glance, but then when it actually comes to it, it's one of those props you'll find out that you actually want for your yard display. Again, it's just a nice little classic spooky tree with a face on it, and I think it just looks so awesome. And I'm sure a lot of you were not expecting for me to say this is actually one of my favorites this year. Now our next prop we don't have the best photos of, but you can clearly tell what it is, and it is of course a scarecrow with a big top hat, which is a nice unique touch. But other than that, this seems like a pretty simple, basic SVI scarecrow. Nothing too special going on here besides again the top hat. I guess the sickle is a nice touch as well. This just seems like it's going to have your standard animation, maybe head moving, turning from side to side, and maybe he does something with the arm that holds the sickle. But other than that, this just seems like a pretty normal scarecrow prop to me. I'm not a big fan of the face on it. It's a little bit cartoony looking for my liking, but I do like that big mouth with the stitching in it, which is cool. But other than that, it's just all right in my opinion. Again, nothing against SVI, but I feel like everyone should kind of just leave the scarecrows to techie toys because they never fail when it comes to making fantastic scarecrow props. So for this scarecrow here, I really don't have much feelings for it either way. I think it's okay and it's, and it's definitely just a fine scarecrow prop, just nothing special. Next up, we have a skeleton dog, which we of course seen like a million times by this point, but this is for sure the biggest one standing at five feet tall and seven feet wide. So this is a huge, huge dog prop. And quite obviously, this is the 12 foot skeleton's counterpart here. 
and you're really supposed to display them together but of course you could just buy each one separately you don't need to get both of them but this is of course a really cool counterpart to the 12 foot skeleton and again on its own it works fine as well as just having a skeleton dog but it's gigantic so remember that it of course has those digital eyes with even more options this time you could change them up apparently they're doing that for the 12 foot skeleton this year too adding that new feature and also for the dog, it appears he'll have mouth animation, which is no surprise there, and maybe he'll bark and stuff too. But this is definitely a really cool skeleton dog prop. Again, we've seen so many of these in the past, but this is just a gigantic one, and again, it'll go great with the 12-foot skeleton. Next up, we easily have my favorite from Home Depot this year by a long shot, being Jack of Spades. And this is just the most badass skeleton prop I have ever seen. He's like this gangster mafioso type card playing skeleton. And I mean, how can you get more awesome than that? This is probably the most raw prop I've seen ever. Like this guy is sick. First of all, he's holding a drink and smoking a cigar with one hand. And then his other hand, he's got his cards. Like that is awesome. I love the getup he has on with that red tie and the fedora. Like, seriously, how badass can this possibly get? This is just the most, this is easily the toughest skeleton prop I think has ever been released before. At Home Depot, for some reason, they just release an awesome skeleton prop every once in a while. Like, two years ago, it was Dean the Deathologist, and now this guy. And they both ended up being my favorite, so I never really liked skeleton props all that much. But for some reason, when Home Depot releases a killer one like this, I just fall in love with it, and I think it's awesome. The really, really cool thing about this guy is that he could both be a standing and sitting prop, which I think is just so smart. So you could have him sitting on a bar stool like in this photo, or you could have him standing up somewhere. Either way works, and I think it looks so awesome. He definitely has some mouth movement, and I'm really excited to hear what his phrases are, because if he has some cool phrases, just some like, I don't know, some gangster type phrases, that would make this prop come together so nicely. It'd be one of the most memorable and funny props of all time. As I'm sure you guys know, I typically like the scarier props a lot better than I do the silly ones, but this guy's kind of riding the fine line between comical and I guess a little bit creepy, but I definitely really like how this one looks. It is just such a cool character. And the one detail I probably love the most on this guy is that the tip of the cigar actually lights up, which is just so, so cool. Our next prop is yet another generic witch from Home Depot. Last year, we were on the right track with Lethal Lily, but then we did have that other witch at Home Depot last year, which was basically just a reskin. And this is, seems to be no different. This just seems like a simple Pan Asian Creations witch. Instead, this time, it's holding a broom instead of a book or something else. I mean, we see these at least once a year from Home Depot, and I don't know why they just don't stop it with, with the generic witches. I mean, this one is for sure no exception in that rule right there, and uh, we really don't need any more of these. Our next prop, I actually predicted they would be doing this here, which is the three-foot Inferno Pumpkin Skeleton. Now, obviously, this was once a 12-foot prop, and they shrunk it down to the three-foot size, just like they did with the 12-foot Skeleton, which I proudly own the three-foot, 12-foot Skeleton. So this is cool to see that they're doing it with this one, and hopefully they send me this like they sent me the Skeleton last year. I don't know what they're doing with their PR box this year, but I think this would be a good choice to put in there. Anyways, I like this thing a lot. I'm not the biggest fan of the 12-foot variant, but I do like the three foot one. This is definitely a cool enough little collector's item if you're a big fan of the Home Depot Halloween decorations. Our next prop, just so I could point it out, seems to be a new three foot clown. It has his back facing the photo, but it definitely appears to be some sort of clown prop. I typically don't like to point out the three foot characters because most of the time they're just reskins from previous years, but this seems to be a new three foot clown of sorts. I like the color scheme going on. Yellow and purple is fine in my opinion. Again, I'm really only mentioning this just to point it out for when it eventually gets released in full. Our next item is not an animatronic at all, nor it is a static figure, but it's actually an archway. And I typically wouldn't mention an archway in a video like this, but this one is so cool I just had to. Obviously, I love this thing so much because, because it's a bunch of jack-o'-lanterns, and all the faces on these jack-o'-lanterns are different from what I could tell, and they all look really sinister and really cool. This is probably my favorite archway I've ever really seen before. It's done so well here. The detailing is great on it, and again, I love all those different faces. Plus, they have faces on both sides, so no matter which way you enter, you could see all the jack-o'-lantern faces, which is just so smart and so cool in my opinion. I really, really like this thing. It's not just Home Depot's animatronics that are firing on all cylinders. It definitely goes for all the decorations too. And finally, our last prop is an enigma of sorts. 
Well, we don't have many good looks at this one, but a lot of people have been theorizing that this is a Nosferatu prop. And considering we got a classic monster this year, it would make sense that they would give us another one. And I would agree with them because judging by the coat here, it lines up with the movie pretty well. And I think it'd be really cool to have a Nosferatu prop anyways. I feel like that's a very cool character to do. Of course, Distortions Unlimited already covered that territory, but if you want a cheaper option that's animated, I feel like Home Depot is probably gonna give it to us this year. And again, I think seeing two classic movie monsters in one year from the same retailer would be really cool. It appears that he will be sharing the mech that the Boogeyman animatronic had last year from Home Depot, so don't expect any servo movements here. Just expect a moving from side to side with some mouth animation. Typical run-of-the-mill stuff, I would, I would have to imagine, considering how he stands here. It would have been cool to have another very lifelike servo thing which is still possible i'm not going to write that off completely but it really just it really just seems like he's going to be a more run-of-the-mill style prop which i'm okay with regardless i'm looking forward to seeing this one when we finally get an hd photo of it or when it's officially revealed i imagine most people are really going to like it well everybody that's going to do it for the home depot halloween 2024 initial leaks it looks like we got a good look at everything in their lineup this year and i have to say like home depot for most years there really isn't anything bad a part of their lineup i guess besides that very generic witch but that's really the only thing i don't like everything else is pretty much spot on this year and they're definitely checking all the boxes on props that a lot of fans have been wanting to see for a long time now and I'm just really happy with the great variety of monsters and creatures we have this year. From the pirates to the card-playing skeleton, I mean, there's just so much to pick from. From both Lowe's and Home Depot so far, this year is looking very, very promising. So once more, be sure to like and subscribe, and let me know what you think of all these animatronics in the comments below. I would love to hear which one was your favorite. And with that, everybody, thank you so much for watching. And as always, this is the Pixelate Pumpkin, signing out.